Good morning guys, Carolina Crappie out here. We are, we're in Florida again. I know it's Carolina Crappie, that's the name of this channel, but Florida is just a good spot to catch some specks. And if you are actually from here, you know what I'm talking about. We're catching some crappie today. Got my buddy John out here. Say what's up, what's up John. How you guys doing? Man, we're about to go find some fish out here. What do you think, some brush piles? What, what are we looking at today? There's a couple brush piles out here. There's a sunken boat that I found the other day. There's a lot of deep holes. There's a lot of deep grass. Uh, so we're gonna kind of beat around out here and hopefully catch some good ones. I was out here not too long ago and caught some really nice, uh, we call them specks down here in Florida. <laughs> uh, caught some nice uh, crappie and, and so hopefully we're gonna get on them again today. Yep. We'll catch you out on the water once we find these spots. Maybe show you some stuff on the graph. Um, see that sunken boat he's talking about maybe the brush piles but man it is beautiful it's gorgeous out here got some gators that are already saying good morning to us we'll see you out there in a couple minutes We're trying to find this is a boat right yep the wreck something boat. boat is what we're looking for we're in east texas right now so no one knows where we're at <laughs> <laughs> so no one can find this sunken boat if you find it good for you man. yeah if you find it you can fish it i think that was it see it was at the oh, very yeah. far that far edge. edge yeah there's a part of it right there i can see it yep all right here's what we're looking at that was that little shipwreck we were telling you about that boat it's right out in front of us it's about 40 to 50 foot out we're gonna throw to it see what happens hooked up first speck of the day nice dude nice this one's boxing today you know what that means it's going in the box don't go in the grease going in the grease lightning Something large yeah. out that way. Between Ooh, the two. Barely touched it. But the thing is, last time I let that happen, let it go back down. Exactly like that. All right. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a better one. You know, the way these fish are hitting, you wouldn't think they're anything bigger than five inches. <laughs> it's real <laughs> subtle. What are being mean here? Real subtle bite. That one is pegged. He was not going anywhere. He is pegged. Uh oh. Double up. There we go. Double up. Oh, come here. Double up. Double up, baby. There we go. Doubled up. Look at that. Yeah. These are kind of small. These are a little bit smaller, but guess what? They still cook up nice. We're going to uh, get the little ones out of the way. These things are mean, too. I'll yeah. tell you that. They're feisty. They're gonna taste good. They're too. tasty too. They're gonna get bigger, don't worry. See, yeah. when you do that, they get bigger. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. Double up. Yeah. <laughs> Third cast. <laughs> Told you, if it's anything like it was, it was. It was pretty good. fish too. Pretty, pretty fish. You can just pin on it down there too. And... Oh, this one's bigger. Got a bigger fish this time. Are they back to the... Oh, I missed them. I mean, that was just a tiny, tiny bite. Oh, that... Oh, that's why. <laughs> that was a weird looking no, fish. Thin, dude. Look at that. That fish has nothing on... I mean, there's no back to that. Nothing. There's no booty on this crappie. No, not that one. He's paper thin. Golly. That's a, probably the smallest bodied crappie I've ever caught. A lot of the bass in here are like that. They're coming through the boat. There's another one. Oh, my God. They're aggressive fish. Yeah, dude. I, I really don't think that they get fished for a whole lot around here. For them to be as aggressive as they are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was 
swimming a little different. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a little assembly line going on. John's gonna put this one in the live well for us. Yep. All right. What we got? A little swing man? Yeah. Oh, you have one of my favorite colors. Oh, 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 oh. Gosh, she hit it so hard. I didn't know. Oh. That's a good one. That's on the other pole, too. Yep. He actually smoked it, too. Got it? Yeah, there you go. Okay. It was, it was one of those moments where we said, ah, let's move to a different spot. And then they said, no, you're going to stay here. No, nah, hang around. <laughs> what you got? Bass? No. Nah. Yep. Uh, is it? Yeah. It's a long... Yeah. <laughs> Got a bass fish. John yeah. can't get away from these things. No. A a little bass, bass fish. Bass fisherman. It's just a bass. It's only smaller. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> it was because your line touched mine. That's what yeah, it was. Exactly. That's all it took. We can do that all day, man. A little bit of line love. <laughs> Hey, we got one. Yes, swinging it in here like a bass. <laughs> <laughs> he ate it too. Oh yeah, way ooh, back ooh. there. Side bait. <laughs> you can feel it. Feels like a better one too. We found our next pile. Um, yeah, I think there's a couple here. <laughs> if you look over here. Oh there's yeah. Even, yep. There's a different brush pile. On All right, tell them, John, what are we about to do? Are we about to lay some gonna, lumber to them? Yeah, there's, there should be some bigger ones over here because you got a big pile. The main brush pile is kind of over here and then off 40, 50 feet away from it, there's a smaller one and that's that's what we're looking at, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's the one yeah. that we're looking at. Cool. I'm just letting the boat kind of get set up. Yeah, always put your boat into the wind if you can. If it's really, really windy and you know that you've got a pile of fish behind you, it's okay to just cast out of the back of the boat. But for this situation, crappie fishing on the brush piles, pretty ideal to just do it this way. Especially with forward facing sonar. Yes, exactly. We're finally getting around that one little piece of thing that was sticking straight up earlier. Yeah. Got him. First cast in here. Look at that. First cast. <laughs> Stay still. They like to put a fin in there. I don't oh, blame yeah. them. Oh yeah. I don't blame them at all. Perfect. Got him. This is good. Don't what this is. We don't know what it is. It means it's it big. Bass. <laughs> it's a bass? Yeah, it's gotta be. Yeah. We just went went through a school of bass. If it's a crappie, it's a good one. <laughs> oh, it's a bass. It's a nice bass. It's actually one of the bigger bass bigger out here. Bigger ones that I've caught out here. Yeah. <laughs> cool. They don't get very big in this lake. So that's yeah, so that's a big one for that's here. It's a pretty good size one. I mean, I know there's like really yeah. big ones in here, but they're, yeah. you very rarely see them. Okay, cool. What do they say? When you stop recording, <laughs> you catch the slabs. That's a good thick fish right that's there. That's a good one, yeah. There's that's a, a bigger one. one down there that was with them. Yeah. So All right, we're gonna see go if we get, them. get them. Yeah, we found a little break where the thermocline is. Cooler water in the summertime in Florida, definitely a key spot on a break to find these fish. So we are like 20 foot deep is our, our deepest point. And it kind of goes up into a little shelf of like 13 foot, right exactly where the thermocline rests. And that, I'll show you on this 
on this forward facing sonar. I mean, this is textbook summertime catching any type of fish. Uh, specs, bass, whatever. This right here, this line, that's your thermocline. We're in about, it says 18 foot, but the deepest we've we found is 20 foot. Throwing right here to these, these fish, my finger is like right on them. So that is just textbook summertime fishing right there. It's kind of like a ledge fishing, like uh, for all you guys in Tennessee that do that on the, the Tennessee River systems. Got him? There we go. Got him. Medium size. Oh, this is fun. There you go. <laughs> I watched it happen. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> watched it. We had to scope that one, man. I could barely see your jig, and I'm like, oh, there he is. Yep. Dang, that one wasn't coming unpegged. Scoped him. Stirred up off the bottom, too, whatever was towards the bottom of that tree. Get him excited. Let's find out. <laughs> oh. Yep, that's a big one. Oh, he stopped fighting. Oh, no, no, no. Something's trying to eat it. Did you see that big bass? Uh -uh. What is that under him? Dude, something was eating him. That's why it was so big feeling at, the, at first. I mean, it's still a good fish. I don't know if it was a big bass or what. I thought it, I thought it was trying to eat the crappie on the way in. That was nuts. There was something that had the crappie. Really? And then it let go and I'm like, oh, it's not, it's not pulling anymore. That was so cool. I don't know what it was. All right, we got our three hour report. 13 swimming around in the old pig pen. Yeah. In there. We're back to where we started this morning and we're gonna see if it pays off. Oh, these fish are getting the camera all wet. That's a good, good sign though. Uh-oh. What is that? What's that? Is that a fish? Is that a slab? <laughs> oh, that was a good one too. That was a lot. That was the biggest one of the day. Always the biggest ones of the day, they get off. All right, we're gonna do the old bait and switch to a curly tail. What is this, 16th, you think? Yeah, 16th. Okay, cool. A lot different body of water here. It's a lot more tannic. This lake doesn't even get quite as deep right. as the other one does. It's max like 13. They like to get on these docks pretty good. There's a ton of old, old pilings and stuff. We'll beat around a little bit and see if we can run into a couple of them. That was a better fish of the day right there. He nailed it. It's not slacking it like that. <laughs> oh, look at it. Bro. I freaking love it, dude. He swallowed it too. I mean, it's gone. <laughs> like, I'm gonna have to do a commercial break to get all this off of there. Wow. Nailed it. Is it a slab? It's a good one. Yes, sir. Good one. Gosh, that is a good one. That's a netter, boys. That's a netter. <laughs> good fish, dude. That's thick, too. No, no. Here's That's a thick fish. Head. Another good one. We hadn't caught a true Florida slab yet. Yeah. Still a good one. Slab. Slab. Oh, I thought it was. <laughs> it felt good. It's a good one. It's a pretty fish, too. They're just, whatever it is about that one. I got one too. Heck yeah, doubled up. Oh, net. Uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> Mine was sitting on the bottom. <laughs> I just picked it up. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> That's awesome. That again. It's <laughs> a good one. It's a pretty fish too. That thing is down there. Not a very big one, but it's a fish. Double up. We got a double. This is a big one. Okay. Well, I say that. There we go. Nice. That's the size that we're at. That's a good right one. There. Good fish. Big ones. There's a nice slab. Um, big, big ones. Look. Oh. Fell right out. Camera. Oh, oh. 23. He's like, oh, I don't know what to do with my fins. <laughs> Can you believe how stacked they are? Oh, gosh. Move the boat just a little bit closer. And we doubled up. Fish in transit. Boom. Another double up. Oh, no. I ain't touching it with my feet. <laughs> <laughs> I got shoes on. He's like, that's why I wear shoes on the that boat. That is right. <laughs> we catch twos on the boat when we wear shoes on the boat. <laughs> that's not a problem. It's a bass. Isn't it? <gasps> oh, I don't know. <laughs> How about he that? just hit it so hard. <laughs> Pretty right there. Nice job, dude. Thanks. All right, guys, we just got off the lake. Me and John, we absolutely annihilated some crappie in Florida today. We took a little break from our vacation to go on a separate lake vacation away from the beach and to the lake. We, we took, go. we got the salt water out of the way, got it out of our system. So today we are fresh water only. And we've also got some slabs in there. What was it? 43 keepers? 43. 43 keepers. 43. It's man, pretty good. That was, that was an awesome day. Yes, hey, thanks was. for taking me out there Dude, so no much. Problem, that was man. That was so much fun. We uh, we caught them multiple different ways. We were yep. casting at brush piles. We were catching them open water fishing uh, while they're roaming, yep. which is one of my favorite things to do. And then at the end, we slayed them on a dock. We did. One dock. One dock. The magic dock. The magic dock. Yes, sir. Well, yes, thanks for coming out here on the water with us. Don't forget, hit that like button, the subscribe button, and also put the comments down below. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Yeah.